Okay guys, well let's get right into it. Center console Molly panels have a variety of uses. Primarily, it's gonna be quick access to vital equipment. Vital equipment that you don't wanna go hunting for all the time because you'll need it right quick. Those can include things like a flashlight, a multi-tool, bear spray or pepper spray, your med kit, whatever that is, or all the above. And some people use it for other things like radios as well. SMW Off-Road makes a very reasonably priced and quality product without any, in my opinion, unnecessary branding that you pay the extra 10, 20% for with the other brands. They provide pretty simple and easy to understand instructions on the center console Molly panel, but I just thought I'd make a short video to show you how it's done and what's involved. So let's start with number one, slide your seat all the way rearward. This will give you all the access that you need to do the install. Next, mark a point one and a half inches in front of the console seam and line up the panel with it to get an idea of where it will sit. The instructions don't say to mark it, but I found it helpful when I was lining up the panel in the next step. Next, you wanna line the panel up with that mark and also the bottom edge of the center console plastic. That's what I was talking about before. So if you have that mark one and a half inches in front of the center console seam and you have that bottom of the center console plastic, you can actually hone in right on where you need to be. Now you're gonna mark the holes that are gonna be pre-drilled. The panel doesn't sit completely flat on the console surface, so you may need to adjust the panel as you do the markings, making sure that you don't move it left to right, up or down. What I mean by adjusting is that you can kind of rock it back and forth depending on what you need. Now you're going to pre-drill the holes. These screws are self-tapping and they need an eighth inch hole to get them started. So go ahead and get your 1 8 inch drill bit. Be careful not to drill too deep as there's some wiring behind the center console. It's not a huge risk, but as for me, I have my light bar wired in and tucked behind that, so I had to be careful not to hit that. There's also some foam that may get caught in the drill bit. Don't worry too much about damaging anything inside with the foam. It's something to keep in mind since you may need to back the drill out in reverse if it gets caught up in that stuff. Now line the panel holes up with the holes that you've just pre-drilled and get your screws and spacers ready to install. Each screw will take one spacer with the exception of the front bottom one nearest the pedals, which requires two spacers. Again, this is because the console isn't completely flat, so you need to make that adjustment. For me, I wanted to use an extra spacer on the front top one as well, just so that I had enough gap to slide in items that I needed up there. But this may not be necessary for you, so make any needed adjustments to suit your purposes. Next, screw each bit of hardware in by hand and do not use a power drill. The last thing you wanna do here is strip the plastic on the center console. Only screw the hardware in until you feel a bit of resistance in the screwdriver. These do not require a lot of torque, so just, again, be careful not to strip the center console plastic. You'll know when it's tight enough, do not over tighten beyond that point. Now, just repeat that same process on the other side and you have yourself a super convenient storage solution to ensure you don't need to hunt around for those items that you always want to have within arm's reach. All right, so let me know what you guys think of this modification. Is it worth doing? Would you do it to your own rig? Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more content coming your way. We'll see you in the next video.